What, Stu? What? Uh, we have breaking news. Ooh. This is breaking sports news. Powered by Valvoline Instant Oil Change on 98.5, the Sports Hub. The Falcons have a new head coach. According to Adam Schefter of ESPN, the Atlanta Falcons are planning to hire Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris as their new head coach. Holy crap. Wow. No one's going to hire Bill. Wow. Old. Like if you had told me Slowick, and I don't know, can, can they even announce? Oh, no, they're out now. So like if you had told me Slowick, I would say, okay, well, that's sort of one of the hot young offensive. Raheem Morris? Raheem Morris. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bill out on the street. I mean, they interviewed Bill twice. They interviewed Vrabel twice. They interviewed Slowick twice. They interviewed Slowick twice. They interviewed Harbaugh, right? Just once, and he told him no thanks in the second one because he was taking the Charger job. I mean, boy, they had a lot of interviews just to come home with Raheem Morris. So there you go. Take that one off the board for well, Belichick. Talk about a blow to Bill's ego. Unless... He's got something in his back pocket. Buffalo. Lint. What if he's got Kansas City? Patrick Mahomes in his back pocket. I mean, I'll Kansas do it to play along with the show. He ain't getting City. a job. He's done. This is why, again, he... he you don't have to play along. If you don't think he's getting a job, you don't think he's getting a job. That's okay. No, look, I don't know if he's getting one or no, I'm done talking to Murray. I think all bets are on the... I, I think all bets are on... I mean, uh, all potential... Outcomes I know what you're trying to say. Everything's on the table. Yes, everything's on the table. And this is also why I think that the, the Patriots might have offered jobs to Bill's kids because Bill wondered if he wasn't going to get a job. He wouldn't be able to take him. Wow. Raheem Morris over Bill Belichick? Okay, do you think that's straight up? Well, if no. Bill Belichick. Uh, no, uh, Bill's more money. Bill's no, right. uh, more if, complicated. If, if Bill said to Arthur Blank, you can hire me on the exact same terms you're hiring Raheem Morris. Meaning, I don't run personnel. I don't blow anyone out of your building. There's going to be someone else who runs the offense. I'm just here to be head coach and charge a defense. You think Arthur Blank's still taking Raheem Morris over Bill Belichick? Probably not. So I, I think Bill prices himself out. I, again, I, I don't know, but I would like to think. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. So Sorry, anyway, I thought you were nope, going to kill. Go no, on. that's Keep it. Going. There you go. All right. So, Bill, uh, Atlanta, take that off the list for Bill Belichick. The Kansas City thing remains alive. That's all I'm concerned with. Adam Schefter this morning, the latest to speculate on Belichick to the Chiefs. If Andy Reid retires, that is so tasty. I love it. Is it a pipe dream? Am I crazy to think that the Chiefs would want Bill Belichick when no one in the league seems to want Bill Belichick? Is that... Is that Adam Schefter just doing more baggage carrying, water carrying for Bill? Yes. Because Bill's not getting any action? Is everyone passing up Bill Belichick, or is he telling him no thanks because he knows he's got the Chiefs in the back pocket, Murray? What, what, what do you think's happening? I think people are passing on him. I mean, when he went out there, I, too, thought like he was going to be a hot commodity for some of these teams. And these teams are hiring guys that most fans have never heard of and didn't even interview Bill Belichick. And Dave Canales... Who's Dave Canales? Dave Canales. He's now the head coach of the Carolina Panthers. When I, you know, a couple of months ago, people assumed like, oh, that'd be an opening because they got rid of Frank Reich midseason. It's like maybe Bill goes there and he's he gets to be the king of the castle in Carolina, work for that nut owner. But you know, they'd give him all the power there. That guy wants a name. He'd hire Belichick. Something called Dave Canales. Dave Canales. Who turned around Baker Mayfield's career for like a year? Like, what the hell do we know about that guy? He got the job. They didn't ever even they never even had any interest in Bill Belichick. Is that because he told them, Don't bother? I've got something in my back pocket? No, it's because he's old and washed, and maybe teams have been uh, paying closer attention over the last four years and said, This guy sucks without Brady. What the hell's happened there? Or I'm starting to come to my side of the street. I think the league hates him. I don't want to give up on that. But go ahead. So no, who's this look. Callahan character that got the job in Tennessee too? Callahan, the Callahan lumber. Like who, who got that job? A Callahan. Did Tennessee ever call bill? No, they didn't make that call either. There's no interest. Yeah. The other thing is owners talk too. like what you're telling me. It's not possible that some of these teams called Robert and said, what was it like? And Robert said, don't even think about it. I mean, you can have him if you want, but he's a colossal pain in the ass. You'll go in to ask him about the weather conditions before the game, and he'll spit his seeds out at you from his salad. So you think Kraft's sabotaging him across the league? Eh, I don't think he's helping. It's hard to imagine he'd give him a pretty good, you know, give up a good re recommendation. How could he? Again, what, what they did to that brand collectively, like I'm not leaving Kraft out of this either. 
what they were at the end of the Brady era, they are now four years, five years out of it. Four, right? He left in 2019. He The one year that, uh, you know, after the Super Bowl, he stayed. They won 12 games. Since that time, Bill Belichick now can't get a job, and they can't get an offensive coordinator to come here. So it seems. Okay. Well, okay. I, I think those are so, – those are. I, I know you're conflating the two. I, I don't know if they're totally related. Okay. I'm just going to hold out hope. For, for fan purposes, talk show purposes, that Belichick has something in the back pocket and he's scaring these teams off and he's telling them either don't bother or if I'm, you know, Atlanta specifically. For me to come here, Arthur, you got to blow out the whole building. I'm 25 million a year guaranteed. I get to hire my full staff. I have personnel control and take it or leave it. And he's driving a hard bargain. And that's why Atlanta's out. And other teams, he told, don't even bother. And he's got something in his back pocket. That's what I'm holding out hope for. Because as much as I think he's lost his fastball, and I would be glad that he's not here, he's still a story, and it's still a better league with him in it. To follow that story, whether he sinks or swims, succeeds or fails, that's a good story. I'm looking forward to it. I want that story. So I'm holding out hope. 